G'day ladies and gents and welcome back to War Thunder with Mags. Yes I know, two War Thunder videos in such a short period of time, what the hell is going on? It's 2020, it is a weird year, and well as I said in the last video, in truth I'm actually kind of enjoying playing War Thunder again. It's a bit stress free and it's a bit of fun and it's definitely fun bringing along a few mates. And for this particular flyout, we are joined by Chase Tuna. Now, Tuna, as some of you will know who watch my DCS videos, is normally my Rio or my wingman in either the F-18 or the F-14. So, jumping into War Thunder was uh, a little bit different, but this was a hell of a lot of fun. Although, I really should have died far too many times in this. Anyways, I hope you enjoy. Mine's calling down at about a hundred. Yeah, at a hundred, but it's very slow. I don't like it seeing it even in the yellow. And you've seen my videos, I fly the things to the engines, they're about to explode into a fireball. Yeah, my buddy has a tendency to laugh at that kind of stuff. At least you manage your engine a little better in idle too. Well, yeah, I mean you don't need to manage it hard in DC in, in um, not DCS in bloody War Thunder. Like, it, it's literally you can reset the cooling system by pulling the throttles to zero and then going straight back to web. <laughs> I'm, I'm half the aircraft that have overheating issues. Uh, IL2 is a little bit more realistic it's in that regard. Uh, just watch what's going on above us. Yeah, I'm watching. B-34 looks like he's... got ripped up by the fucking... He looks like he won the fight, but uh, at a cost. Two hundred still fighting. level out here and And Hurricane off to our left. Finally we can find the fighters. Nice. And a hurricane down low and a swordfish. D forties. Yeah, I think we want to get in on that. Do you want to finish off the B thirty four or do we want to go into the fight? Uh, B-34 is walking away. Uh, Let's get into the fight. Alright. Well, I'm going after this P-40 that's just... You're just taking out one of the condors? Ooh, he got double teamed. Hurricane's approaching in from the rear. He's on you, he's on you. Ooh, okay. Uh, looks like he's going after you now. Whoa, he is too. How is he climbing like that? He should have stalled. He did. There it is. Oh. Uh, I think I'm just ahead of you. Oh, second one's coming in. Shot at me. Yep, I'm coming to clear. You clear? Thank you. It's all right for a ball. Yep. Speaking of pulling the throttle back to zero to reset the engines. You got a. You got another hurricane coming back in. Check six. Yep, I see him. Can you switch targets? Yep. Pursuing. He's coming back down. Shit, I couldn't get the nose down. Ooh. That was... Hard. Yep. 
the same problem here. Alright, you got a P40 coming down. Oh, yep. Whoa! a pretty bad hit to the wing. So did I. And I'm still being engaged hard. Yeah, we are getting swarmed here. That we are. Disengage if you can. I took another two, three hits. My plane's all yeah, but fucked no, at this I'm, point. Yeah, the, I'm just trying to get something. No, she's done. Shit. Did I at least take that last guy out? So. Oh, you're still up. I see you. No, I'm still going for the moment. But, uh, I'd look better. Oh, that's cool. Check the smoke out of the back of this thing. Yeah, I've been noticing that. You've got your oil smoke going straight back, you got your fuel going up, and then the water going down. Yeah, that's new. That was all the same, so I like that. I like that a lot. Oh, and you ran out of water. Yep. Yep, that's it. That's alright. I'm on final approach to the runway anyway, so... At least you got your gear. Well, I haven't pressed the G button yet, so... Uh, I'm looking at the bottom. It's still there. Oh, yeah, that's alright. Couldn't have timed it better. I do believe it is just you against all the other fighters, though. Uh. Oh. Oh. Okay. Or not. That's right. I'm being repaired. Twenty-one seconds. Um. No, there's still a couple of us. H E Triple One still up. E1's still up, okay. F1's still up, so we've still got some guys. Not many. You got one contact, uh, one o'clock high. Yeah, 109 and, uh, the HE111 are coming back underneath me. Yep. Hmm. Feels like this thing doesn't have much of a speed advantage like it once had. I'm gonna let you dive on the hurricane. Okay? I need vamp his energy at least. Yeah. 
Yep, I managed to turn it around. He's not going to disengage though. Yeah, you might as well lead him around until the other BM-109 comes in. Or he gets back up. That's what I'm thinking, but I'm uh, going to back it off here at some point. Oh, he's turned it the other way. He's trying to get Gojo to a head on. others. Yep, the uh, the B-24 is just below me. 34? Oh, B-34, I mean, yep. It's coming in underneath. Yep, I know. Oh, stealth rounds, stealth rounds. Yep. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Stall him, stall him, stall him, stall him. There it is. Kick it. Come on, come on, come on, down we go, down we go. It's not the way I wanted to hammerhead, but I'll take it. Ah. So he's a stick user. Or did you shoot out his tail control? No, he's a stick user. He was in that, he went into that flat spin. Probably pop the B-34 because he's going to shoot at you the second you cross. Huh. He recovered? I don't think he's recovering. No. You know what it probably happened? Mm -hmm. He probably he probably stalled the engine. Oh, nope. He's getting it back. Yeah, no, he's not recovering from that. Unless I did shoot something off after he had gone into the tumble. Yeah, there we go. That must be what happened. He, he lost something after he went into the tumble. Nobody else is shooting at me. No. But we've seen he'll spray at two kilometers, so. Hmm. Yeah, it's probably his turret that I just heard losing past. Yes. Nope. Oh, you got one of his engines. Nice. Yep. Took a little clip there, but it didn't bust anything on my end. But uh, that's yeah. going to adversely affect his ability to continue doing this shit. Gotta admit, I'm kind of... Oh, there he is. There it is. Chili. Yeah, yeah, he's using his, uh, his tail gunner eye win button. Right. 
I still say what they should have done all along is remove the player's ability to control the aircraft and control those guns at the same time. Or just completely remove the ability to control that player's gun, or the player to control those guns. Wow, he's dead focused on you. Come on. How many fucking hits have I got to put on this guy? Well, they are only 762 now. I'm out of ammo. Oh no, I'm not. I'm jammed. He's going out. Uh, both engines and I shot off at least two control surfaces. I saw flake off the aircraft then. Oh, my water system is already empty, so I should probably... That was your water? Yeah, that was my water. Which makes oh. sense on this thing. Considering uh, how it's built. Very simple. The, uh, with, with the entire wing essentially being a radiator. Well, that's four. There's just one more guy. Although the triple one's gonna finish off the enemy base. Oh, I'm cool with that. I've, I've got four kills at this point, so like a fifth one would be nice. But this is the second time I've had to bring this thing broken back to the runway, so. Doesn't like slowing down. I don't flip yourself this time. Yeah, I'm trying not to. Come on, I gotta talk shit to you. Hmm? So, I'm your Rio, I gotta talk shit. Damn right. Hey! I did it without fucking it up this time. Nice. Hashtag ground loop. <laughs> the, um... Yeah, I did make the comment earlier on when I was coming in for landing in the vampire just before you arrived. And I was doing a full pattern approach with the brake turn on the end of the rest of it. Then we just kind of went... You do realize this isn't DCS, right? Oh shit, yeah, it's not. <laughs> nice. No, I, I did that just for shits and giggles. One time, me and my buddy were flying A6 albums. And, uh, you know, I came in and did a little overhead break over the numbers. He's like, oh, look at you, so cute doing your overhead break. It was the same buddy who works on that. On the Reagan. Nice. Yeah, it's so, just. He, he, he sees that all the time. That is a hell of a job. And I will be disappointed to the end of time that uh, military isn't something I could do. Yeah, same here. And uh, even more so that even if it was, we don't have a carrier. Last time you had a carrier, you ran over two destroyers. Yes, but to be fair, that wasn't the <coughs> the carrier's fault, and one of them was American, and it was um, and that was definitely his fault. That was definitely the American destroyer's fault, and yeah, it was um, ours was more of a yeah. Basically, what happened? Um, we was we hadn't sorted out. It's not right to wait. Well, not the formations themselves. Right. The formations themselves were fine, but how, like, what the rules of movement were around the carrier in certain conditions to change the formation. And so, right. 
and what had to be reported and who had to be reported to and da 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 da, da. And, and basically one of our destroyers decided to cut across the nose of the Melbourne and got ran over. So that was a thing. And um, after that happened, the um, like the captain stood down, even though it wasn't his fault, he wasn't even on duty at the time, It was he was in wreck hours, so he was asleep, because that was, was his point, it was one of the others that was on duty at the time, but he still stood down as captain, because everything's the captain's fault at all times, I still think that was a bit of bullshit, and um, yeah, there was an inquiry and all the bullshit for it, and we, we sorted out a series of rules as to how you move around the carrier in a group, and then it was a... A combined exercise and a US destroyer joined us and ah, there we go destroyed the airfield the US destroyer captain was fully briefed on how to move around the Melbourne how to move within the Australian fleet to avoid getting run over by the aircraft carriers and that was all sorted out he was instructed and he accepted it and he signed off on it and the rest and then we sailed out, and at some point, for some fucking reason, I have no idea why to this day, I could never find any information why he made the choice, but the captain ordered to change position from one side of the fleet to the other, and did not notify anybody, did not follow the procedures that he had agreed to to join the Australian fleet, did not let anyone else know, cut straight across the nose of an aircraft carrier, and he got run over as well. <laughs> just... There's a point when you just got to go, they fucking asked for it. 